I'm glad we meet again, Uroboros. So, you've come to pit yourself against insurmountable odds? I admire your courage, at least. We don't really enjoy being hunted. The hunter's role is more our speed. Our time is precious. If you insist on barring our way, we'll do what needs to be done, old compatriot or not. No need for speeches. Now is a time for action. I do hope you came prepared. The traitors will receive my judgment. I'm the one you want. Made it through that somehow. How many times are we going to have? I was just about to say that. A consul. Manners, Kerr, that is Master E to you. <sighs> I put a lot of effort into developing this drama. Breaking her spirit, then fashioning her in my own image. Not with my masterpiece! What's the pillet going on about? <laughs> Alexandra, my chill. Who are you calling a piece? Neither her nor us will ever be what you want us to be. Oh, oh, of course. And very well. I think it's time for a quick rewrite. No use for all of these imbecilic sides. Return to your seats for Act Two. Carnage! The curtains are back to rise! You are the fatal side! You break my appetite! You will suffer the assault! Oh, where that came from? Just get up! Just get up! Let me go! 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 Let me go!
Again. <laughs> from where I was standing. <sighs> it was impressive the way you beat him. And a big help, too. Wait, what's she saying? Dame Alex! 
I'm putting my foot down, only boring run-of-the-mill plans from now on. This one gave me anxiety. I said I was sorry. Don't cry. So it all went down according to your calculations? Our goal was the defeat of the Consul and to be released from his control. Though it was a long acquaintance we had, at least until we uncovered that lie of his. And what was he lying about? It's a long story. But anyway, making an enemy of the Consul would have been a big gamble for us too. So to weigh the risk, we had to figure out just how strong you lot actually were. So you used your friends and colony as bait. You thought if we were strong enough to deal with you all, we could stand up to the Consul too. You seem bitter about it. But there must have been another way. Dispatch a scouting party, or... Oh, come on. We'd all reach homecoming before we got anywhere like that. Sure, but see how much it cost you. It's not worth the sacrifices. There is no victory without sacrifice. If you fight according to those musty old textbooks, you'll always be too slow. You're an old-fashioned man, aren't you, Tyon? What? Dame Alex, I don't think they'll respond well to that line of exposition. Only Ouroboros can destroy our flame clock. Shouldn't we consider asking for their help instead of riding them up like this? I'm not riling up anyone. Just some gentle teasing among friends. Dame Alex doesn't actually believe the ends justify the means. You'll understand if you look closely at the colony and how things are here. What do you think? Might be good to look around before we enter into any partnerships. What if that's exactly what she wants you to think? Let's cross that bridge when we get to it. For now, I'd like to trust her. She was quite open with us this far. Good grief. How did softies like you even survive this long? Dame Alex. I'm sorry. I admit I may have crossed a line. <sighs> we'll have time to say goodbye to the old girl later. Come along. I'll show you how we fight here. Would you believe it? Ah, uh, got another one. Levinus repair part? We got them, but no means of transport. Usual route goes the long way round. No, there's a colony we could route through. Those cylinders, we'll manage. We can add two days. We can make it on time. Prioritize speed. Start with light goods. That's the list there. I'll forward it on, too. What do you know? They're really pro at that. They're not just regular soldiers. More like they're all officers. We're reading the flow of goods to learn of the war. It's a very flat hierarchy here, you'll find. Using a minimum of people to achieve maximum results. That's the way we like to fight. Of all the colonies in Ionios, we're a bit extreme in the way we use the cards. Pretty special, right? You mean the cards in the... Iris? Yes. They tell us what's needed as of right now, and it's an easy and efficient tool. But soldiers' wills and skills, on the other hand. Feeling useful makes you confident. Confidence teaches a soldier pride. Pride binds the team, fosters productivity. 
and leads a colony to victory. Right? As a result, we can invest ourselves in more research, and it takes us a step beyond. A step beyond? Well, I did propose them. It's quite basic. Wait, the Collectopedia cards? You made them? The castle folk developed them. All I did was to issue the request through the console. Meaning you made a deal with the castle? Surely that's not... I didn't do it lightly. It was necessary. Doing the same as everyone around you, it's always the same outcome. Following the playbook to the letter is hardly a strategy. And so I'm old-fashioned? You're not mad this time. I realized there was no ill will. We fight when we're confident. You and I... I think we're the same in that regard. I'm getting the impression that something must have changed you. Thank the previous commander for that. He was a rash type, like this big one. It winds you up, doesn't it? I get what you mean. Oi, what the spark? No matter what happens, you fight to keep everyone alive. And that... That's what makes a colony. All right, Alexandria. I understand you now. Do you think we'll be useful? Doesn't matter. I don't see people that way. Oh. Time to head back. We've unfinished business. That's right. Time is precious. So all that's left is to smash it, yeah? Yes. That way, Colony Iota will be free. I'll be honest, I'm not 100% on board with how you played this. I don't appreciate being manipulated. I'm sorry about tricking you before. I really do regret it. Yeah? What's to say you're not tricking us even now? Insolence! I'm sorry about lands, but I would like to know what exactly your goal is here. When you think about rules, you have to realize that they are closely entangled with the intentions of whoever set them. I don't suppose you'll believe me, but I just want to see what life's like outside of those confines. No. I believe you. From everything you've told us, I can see how serious you are. Thank you. And I'm counting on you. Let's keep it on the straight and narrow from now on. Interesting choice of words. Plans? No, it's fine. I'm sure she's got nothing else left to hide now anyway. Uh, love... She's still hiding stuff. Dame Alex? No, I've got this. I'm... I'm not as old as I might seem. So, I don't quite have the authority you might think yet. You don't... Wait... Which term are you in? Sick? What?! Shut up, you cannot be sixth term! Hush! Not so loud. I thought for sure we were the same term. You just have this... dignity about you. I work really hard for that, you know? Some colonies plan surprise attacks if they work out the timing of when the next generation of soldiers rolls over. And also, well... You know, reasons. What reasons? Dame Alex thinks she looks too young, so she likes to put on a touch of cosmetics to give her features extra character. That was not public information. You were just going to leave them all guessing otherwise. Not really what I expected. Well, that's your fault for assuming, isn't it? Having presence is important for a commander. This might be going over my head, but it sounds like a struggle. For your information, the only ones who know this are my team chiefs and Chickadee. This is one secret I expect you to take with you unto homecoming. We understand. 
We won't tell anyone. Here we go! If you have my back, I've got yours. <laughs>